10 of the strangest buildings in the world. Longaberger Headquarters, Newark, Ohio, USA. Have you ever driven by the office of a big company and wondered what they make or sell? Well, if you ever drive through Newark, Ohio and see the Longaberger office, chances you will understand what that company is all about. As you can probably tell, Longaberger Basket Company makes baskets and decided to make this abundantly clear when they designed their headquarters building. This massive basket took two years to complete and even comes equipped with a 150-ton heated handle so that ice and snow can't build up there and cause damage. Habitat 67, Montreal, Canada. How will we all live in the future? If you are old enough to remember anything about Expo 67, you'll probably know a thing or two about this strange building. Made up of many concrete modules, Habitat 67 was supposed to indicate the direction urban living would take in the not-so-distant future. Looking more like a game of Tetris gone bad, this type of building never really caught on with the public. Today, Habitat 67 remains one of the more popular landmarks in Montreal, with tourists flocking to take pictures and potential tenants willing to pay upwards of $2 million to live in this penthouse. Wonderworks, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, USA. Probably best described as an amusement park for the mind, the Wonderworks in Pigeon Ford is all contained in a rather strange and unusual building. This structure looks like it's been ripped out of the ground and flipped upside down before being put back down again. Needless to say, among the other buildings, it really does stand out. The whole upside down theme doesn't end there, however. The entrance and lobby all continue to bombard the senses, making you think things really are upside down. Kansas City Library, Kansas City, Missouri, United States of America. If you're ever in Kansas City and have trouble finding this library, we suggest that you get your eyes checked. That's because the Kansas City Library is made up of giant books which are each on average 9 feet wide and about 25 feet high. The 22 massive books are arranged as if on a huge bookshelf, and the book titles were selected after asking the readers of Kansas City which works were their favorites. This strange structure doesn't need a sign or any type of advertisement to let the public know where or what it is. The building does that all on its own. Atomium, Brussels, Belgium. Built for the 1958 World's Fair in Brussels, this 335-foot-high structure can definitely be called strange. The Atomium was designed to look like a highly magnified iron crystal. Its unusual design is made up of eight spheres all linked together. The spheres housed exhibition rooms and public spaces, which were all linked through walkways and lifts. Today, due to the structural concerns, some of the spheres are inaccessible and extra supports have been added after it was found a strong wind could potentially send the Atomium tumbling over. Kunstos Gras, Gras, Austria. If you saw this building from a distance for the first time, you might think the Austrian city of Graz was being eaten by some enormous alien creature. After all, it doesn't blend in with the other buildings and looks like a giant blob covered in strange bumps. Have no fear, the city of Graz isn't under attack. This strange building is just the Kunsthaus Graz, a contemporary art museum built in 2003. Built utilizing blob architecture, it is nicknamed the Friendly Alien and attracts visitors who are drawn by its strange design features. Niteroi Contemporary Art Museum, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Let's face it, as we've seen, art museums often have unconventional designs and we expect them to stand out from other buildings. That said, if you ever stumble across this building while walking down the beach in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, you might just wonder if you've been abducted by aliens. That's because the Niteroi Contemporary Art Museum is a rather strange building. Looking like something out of a Star Trek movie, the museum stands out even more because it is perched on a bluff by the water. Even if its futuristic design and UFO looks haven't attracted any real aliens, Aliens. This strange building definitely attracts its fair share of tourists every year. Waldspirale, Darmstadt, Germany. One look at this rather unusual residential complex found in Germany and you might think a few neighborhood kids built it with leftover parts and paint found lying around. You'd be wrong. The Waldspirale, literally forest spiral, was intentionally designed and built to look this way. This very strange building was created with minimal straight lines and corners that include a grass roof, onion-shaped domes, and mismatched knobs and handles for all the doors. The unsymmetrical building also features over 1,000 windows, no two of which are the same. Cube Houses, Rotterdam, Netherlands. 
Looking at the cube houses found in Rotterdam, you might at first think that you were looking at some sort of strange art created by Picasso. These structures are not art, but are in fact very real. The cube houses were designed to produce more area for people on the ground while moving living space up to create an urban tree. To give the tree effect, the cubes are turned on their corner, making the whole structure even stranger to look at. The three-story homes are unique, but a lot of the room inside is unusable thanks to the strange angles of the walls and ceiling. The Crooked House, Sopot, Poland. No, you are not hallucinating, and this is not a trick using mirrors. This building, found in Poland, actually looks like this all the time. Taking the idea of life imitating art to an extreme, the design of this shopping center was heavily influenced by illustrations found in children's storybooks, with comical lines which make it look as though the building is drooping or melting. The roof that looks like it is covered in dragon scales adds a finishing touch. Built between two normal buildings, this strange creation plays tricks on your eyes no matter how long you look at it.